All right, let me uh, let me go ahead and get started here. So, uh, okay, welcome everybody. So today is the day after Erica's internship, but we got ahead and got started with this because this is her exit presentation. So Erica's been with our hospitality air support reservation team for the past few months, and today she will present all the glorious things that she's done during her time here as an intern. So without further ado, I'll introduce the moderator today. It will be Shaylin. In with Shaylin for the win. And, uh, and uh, okay, I'll pass it to Shaylin and she can continue. Shaylin, the floor is yours. Okay, thank you, Mr. King. Um, okay, so um, we'll just get started, yeah? Maybe to Erica, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, let's get started then. Time is yours. Yes. Um, thank you guys for attending my exit presentation. Um, yesterday was my last day of internship and I'm very excited that I'm asked to do this presentation uh, because I get to be here <laughs> like one more day <laughs> extension. <laughs> and yeah, thank you for your time and let's just get right to it. Uh, the first thing I'm going to present is that what I did in HR. Are. So basically, my routine is that I uh, handle air support mainly in Region 2 hosting. And like from the first day, I host uh, Region 2, uh, no, no, region, not Region 2, like first day, uh, Region 4. And then, uh, like days after, like I get trusted by Andre for uh, managing the Region 2. And then writing reviews for guests and also replying to inquiries on Airbnb, Facebook, and Instagram. And also uh, assisting visits, like uh, like when guests want to visit, like I assist them. And then if they want to book, I also help them with the reservation process. Erica, so that's what I did. Quick yes. question. This is for the viewers who might not know what Region 2 is. Could you tell us what is Region 2? Yeah, so uh, Region 2 is uh, a part of uh, in Bali where I uh, manage. Like, So it's actually Canggu and Kuta and also Uluwatu uh, and also like uh, those region, uh, those parts of Bali that I uh, manage. And yeah, so uh, uh, I had fun in Region 2 because Region 2 is one of the busiest and also uh, we manage uh, like five Airbnb accounts in region two. So yeah, it's uh, the most busiest uh, region that we handle. We uh, have uh, four regions and the first one is like Jimbaran and Unggasan and also region three uh, is Yogyakarta and also region four is Nusa Penida. So I handle region two, which is the busiest. <laughs> and yeah, uh, I, I hope that could uh, lighten the viewers, but region is in Bukit Vista. Is that uh, uh, enough, Mr. Jing, for, for the uh, explanation about Region 2? Yes, thank you. Uh, let's proceed to another slide. Uh, I think this slide is enough. Yeah, so uh, here's my achievements, like small list of achievements during my three months internship in Bukit Vista. So uh, I established uh, pet friendly terms and condition as my pivots. And I'm quite proud of it because uh, I see that uh, starting today, it is used to uh, pet, uh, pet friendly booking in Changgu. And also I was uh, the team for BVE Talk. I actually uh, helping in uh, Ilham divisions to search for a co-host. And also uh, I feel like uh, it's an achievement when I see happy guests that I hosted. Um, uh, leaving the property with happy experience and also happy comments given to Bifi. And also I helped uh, the reservation team to make several deals and I hope uh, I could play a small part in uh, helping uh, the revenue achievement. So yeah, and also uh, being a good mentor, like uh, in the first first time, like uh, I thought I couldn't do it, but uh, uh, like my last month when there's a new intern, like I can believe that I could mentor them like uh, for the things that I couldn't believe that uh, I could do. And I think that is a personal achievement for me. And also sharing for like, especially my first week, like I didn't really get it. Like what 
uh, in BV does like uh, what is Scrum and also how can uh, I do Scrum well and uh, chairing in my first week it's pretty thrilling and like I'm very like quite proud that I'm like uh, brave enough to take the chance and uh, do the chairing even though like <laughs> uh, like I I should be improving more and also I could have done better, but I'm glad that I took the chance to chair my first uh, scrum in my first week. Uh, yes, Erica, so, let's clarify yes. that terminology again. What, what does chairing actually mean? And what are some of the skills and yes. the kind of process and what do you need to manage while you chair? Yes, so uh, basically chairing is like um, you're the main moderator of, uh, of of a meeting like you uh, you control what goes on the meeting and also you like you you elaborate uh, the meeting like uh, if there's if there's someone uh, talking about a topic or a project like you make sure that uh, everything is uh, everyone is is on the same page and also you manage that um, uh, the the discussion is going well and also um, I think a chairing is more than just a moderator. It's like, um, you know, like you control everything there, like uh, in a meeting, like uh, you control the time and also you control the contents, you control the people, you control the atmosphere. And I think um, uh, it needs more practice. Like I still need more practice and everybody I think can do it if they practice chairing because chairing is like pretty different from who's uh, hosting and also moderating. Uh, I think chairing is more like um, you're the king of the meeting <laughs> like that. So yeah, that's my understanding about chairing so far. So I hope that un answers uh, your question. Yep, that sounds like some leadership experience, yeah? Yes, uh, yeah, uh, should we continue? Yes. Yeah, so here's what I learned in BV. Like, uh, there's so much things that I couldn't mention. Um, so, like, here's just a list of the main things that I remember I learned. Like, I learned it hard. And uh, the first thing is negotiation. Like, uh, before I couldn't really uh, negotiate. Like, um, like I know I, I, I could be learning more in the future about negotiation, but at least I know how to negotiate right. And also, uh, Negotiation is such a learn, uh, long learning process, and I'm glad that at least I know like the foundation of negotiating. Like, uh, there's so much theory in it, and uh, at least I know one or two, and so I could uh, continue learning it in the future. In the future, and, and the next one is teamwork is the main uh, skill that is in my chapter, and I guess I'm pretty, uh, I'm quite proud of my teamwork skill. Um, yeah, and like I think it could be improved too. But uh, I learned so much about teamwork in my division and or chapter. And next one is critical thinking using data. So um, before I'm not really a, a data oriented person, but since in in BV, um, I could I feel like I'm relying to data more and then examining what. What, what the data could say about uh, one problem. And I think with using data, you can uh, like uh, solve a problem more quickly. And I think that is what I, what I learned in BV. And also public speaking, like uh, I took a chance from being a host, moderator, and also chairing. I, uh, I think that is uh, something that I learned about public speaking. And also uh, after, I remember after I moderate uh, all hands, uh, Mr. Jing gave me some like, public speaking tips and yeah I, I think I could use it uh, in the future if I get the chance to like moderate or host something and yeah uh, I learned that in BV also and uh, next is problem solving like there's so many case uh, cases on HAR and like it happens almost every day and um, I think by uh, by learning by doing that uh, I could like uh, know like what's the first thing that I need to do when there's a problem, and like oh, what's what this decision that I need to make uh, the first thing that I need to do if there's a problem, and I could be more calm and in handling a problem because you know like things could go wrong and I could accept it like 
uh, things could go wrong and I, sh I should uh, face it like that. Uh, I think that's a part of uh, all that adulting for me personally. And uh, next is task prioritization. I think um, I learning, uh, I'm learning so much from uh, handling uh, Airbnb and also uh, region two. Like there's so much that I handle like at one time so that uh, I need to prioritize better like uh, from that I learned oh, I know that I could learn what is uh, more uh, important and also from the urgency of a uh, matter like that and lastly uh, I feel like I'm being more assertive like the first thing that uh, the first time that I come here I was like shy and uh, not brave enough to speak my voice but since in BV like uh, I'm learning to uh, speak my voice and also, um, you know, uh, let everybody know what I think and also my opinion. And it turns out that my opinion uh, being heard and could be useful to everyone in BV. And also, I, I feel like I'm more detailed because like when I do something like I, I double check before I send because uh, to reduce some failure or some uh, misunderstanding. So, yeah, I just... Like I just realized the importance of being detailed and, it, and it's uh, one of our core values too. Um, so here's what could be improved. In my three months uh, internship, I think I could be done more and more, more pivots and also innovations. But like, uh, I think uh, because of my uh, thesis and also my um, everything else, I think I didn't really like uh, make innovations uh, during my three months. And I think that could uh, could have been uh, an improvement. And I need uh, like uh, to learn more on uh, how to think about innovation and how to make it come true. And also getting out of my comfort zone more. Like, uh, yes, like I feel like I'm getting out of my comfort zone, but I think it could be more like what I did. Uh, and also, I think I could engage, engage more with people in BV. And lastly, I think time management. I think uh, I need, I still need to improve my time management so I could do more things in a short time or like in a period of time. Yeah, I think that's a basic life skill that I need to master. <laughs> and I think that's it for my internship, uh, exit, exit presentation, I mean. And, uh, Thank you for your time and I hope to see you again in the future and don't forget to follow me in my social so we can keep in touch. Yeah, uh, thank you for it. Okay, thank you Erika for the presentation. So yeah, from, from your presentation as well, I think like everyone here can also see like how much, um, like what are the things that you have done um, as well as what are the uh, contributions that you have made into the company. So um, not, not just contributing to the company, but also you have improved your own self in this case, like you gain this certain um, skill set, certain uh, habits that you actually like to use in your like, daily life, you know, in a sense. Um, okay, thank you, Erika. And maybe I'll pass um, some of the time maybe to Maria. Maria is actually one of um, Erika's senior in the HR team. So maybe could you provide us like a few words on Erika? Oh, well, actually, let me put a few words. Personally, to Erica, and <laughs> thank you, Erica, for helping us in HR. I know that you are transforming, and well, you also inspire us to in a positive way. So we like to inspire each other. And I wish you good luck too. Thank you, thank you. I feel inspired by my especially Maria. Maria is actually never like sleep she, she always online <laughs> even though in her day off she was like help me with my fb inquiries well no as long i'm i'm thinking about as long as i can help i would do i would like to help you too yes there's very inspired delight i think that's it Shilin. i don't know what else to think erica 
I see. Okay, thank you, Maria. Oh, uh, okay. I I believe you have like passed your uh, message uh, to visit your guys well in this case. Uh, okay. Maybe I'll pass the time to um Jenna. We have Jenna over here, so uh maybe could you pass like few of your thoughts over here? Uh, okay. So like, um, actually, I didn't get to do. I I'm not sure about like what Erica does for HR, but like I did talk to her a few times, and it was like always. Really Nice to talk to her. She's like very funny and she's very honest. It's like she will tell me random things that happen, like, oh, like she fell asleep while watching uh shows on Discord with like her hand still here and her hand still holding the phone. And I'm like, what? <laughs> but yeah, it's like really nice to talk to her. Like, I feel like you can talk to her about anything. And like, it was nice getting to know you, even though like it was only for a short while. Yeah, it was nice to get to know you too, Jenna. Jenna is always helpful. Like when when she asked me for like the handover paper, she asked me like a million times. <laughs> <laughs> Very patient with me. Oh, thank you, Jenna. No worries. <laughs> Okay, thank you, Jenna, as well. Yeah, so <laughs> that's that's one fun fact about Erika, yeah. But luckily, like during the what last night's uh movie night session, she didn't fall asleep. That's a good thing. <laughs> thank you. Okay, uh, maybe to Furkan, do you um have any thoughts that uh, you would like to say to Erika? Okay, yeah, so hello, uh, by Erika, maybe we haven't met that long. Yeah, from this show, I could say that you're a really terrific person and could be joining us to be fun. So you're a really good and a terrific person. And I really love the presentation. It's it's very straightforward. It's very colorful. The presentation, and I guess that the uh, presentation pictures yourself as well. It's a colorful and also outgoing. So um, I believe that you will be succeed in the future. Wherever you are so go thank you thank you for the same to you as well yeah okay thank you for con okay then maybe i'll pass it to mr gina uh if you have any words to say to erica sure erica as a ceo of the company i could see that you've passed our program and you've learned all i think valuable skills that will that will suffice through the rest of your career I can see that you've learned leadership. I can see that you've learned customer service. And I can see that you've learned how to, I think, uh, deal with managed problems and all the different ways that they man manifest, right? At the end of the day, when we talk about career, we're talking about getting paid to solve other people's problems for the most part. So things like managing time, managing customer conflict, I think these will be very, very valuable things that you can carry forward. And uh, yeah, I'm very proud to have had you here. The team has been uh, enormously pleased with some of the work you've done. And thank you for taking part in one of this program. This is the, the second time that we've actually done an exit uh, presentation. So so you're part of that new innovation as well. Um, yeah, that's it. Good luck, Erica. Thank you, Mr. Jing. I will uh, remember your advices. <laughs> so. All right, I hope so. Mm. <laughs> Okay, thank you, Mr. Jing. Uh, okay, maybe from Erica herself, like, do you want to uh, say something? Um, yes, uh, basically, I want to say uh, thank you for everyone in BV uh, in helping me personally or like work wise. Uh, uh, I wish BV a success uh, journey ahead, and I like maybe we could cross path again in the future like we'll see <laughs> but yeah i was uh, i'm very thankful that i get to internship in bv because uh, i learn a lot and like uh, even though like it's a uh, uh, it, it's only a uh, internship like i get the work experience like the real work experience so uh, yeah so like no regrets at all i i actually uh, uh, like Oh, well, last night <laughs> I uh, promoted on my Instagram <laughs> so that my juniors in my college could uh, intern in BV. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, we saw that on Instagram and we actually brought up during the HR Scrum just now. So yeah, thank you so much, Erika, like for, um, Appa, for doing that as well. It's actually like, um, 
a part of um, advocacy as well from your side so that you can actually like share your experience during your internship with us and then like um, like um, raising awareness as well like to like all of your friends and peers in this case um, so yeah I think um, that's all for today's session on Erica's exit presentation session thank you everyone for watching um, until the end <laughs> thank you so much and yeah I think